Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about some generic updates for 2022 release wave two. And um, there are some cosmetic changes that I wanted to talk to you about and also some additional features, which I didn't really see in any of the release notes, but I might have just overlooked it, but just wanted to share that with you. Go ahead and take a look. Once you install the early access features for 2022 release wave two, you're going to see that there's some cosmetic changes on some of these form pages. And it doesn't really matter uh, from which app you're, you're opening any of these forms, uh, but you'll notice some of them. So first of all, let me go over some of those changes, right? You can see that the sections on this form are now showing in a lighter color than the background, right? And you can also see that they now have a shadow, so they stick out a little bit more. You'll also notice that the lines around the sections have been removed and the sections almost look like cards, right? That sit on top of the form. And I really like this new look and I like how the sections stand out a little bit more because of that contrast that that shadow brings. Now, if we're looking at the form fields, you'll notice that they're no longer separated by those lines, right, that we had before. And this is a little bit funny because in earlier versions, the lines were first removed and then there were a lot of complaints that the form looked too white. So then they brought back the line. So I guess we're back to going lineless, if that's even a word, um, but kind of wanted to, to mention that. Uh, I think it's kind of okay for the lines to be gone because again the shadows of those sections gives us a little bit more depth right and it makes the form less white looking overall um, i guess as long as you're not using one big tab that has one large section on it we should be okay one thing that i wanted to say which i felt was kind of interesting and you might not have picked up on this but We've actually seen this layout before in the Dynamics 365 apps. If you actually open a dashboard in any of those Dynamics 365 CE applications, you're going to see the same look and feel that were just added to the forms that I just mentioned, right? A different color background, no lines around the sections uh, or the charts. And um, so it kind of makes sense to me, right? That Microsoft is upgrading the forms to look similar to that. Now, if you look at the quick create forms in the application, you'll notice a slight change there as well. Let me actually go ahead and click on this. Click here on uh, accounts. You can see here that there is no shadow separating those different sections, but the lines between the fields have been removed here as well. So just to kind of show you the difference, right, in those looks prior uh, to installing that early release wave. I'm just going to switch back and show you what it looks like today. So you can kind of take a look at that difference. So this is what it looks like today, right? You can see there's no shadow. We have those lines around the sections and then we have those lines uh, below the different fields as well. So it looks very different, but let me actually open a dashboard here. So you can kind of see what I was referring to that we've seen a similar layout before. Yes, in the dashboards. So let me just give this a second while this loads. And here we go, right here. We already have that very similar layout, right? We have those shadows. There's no lines around those sections. So I kind of wanted to, uh, to share that with you. So I just switched back again to the 2022 release wave two uh, form because I also wanted to talk a little bit about the timeline, which also looks a little bit different, right? So you can see that uh, it actually looks a lot cleaner. And one of the things that I wanted to mention here is that now you can see that the auto posts, right? Those, those posts that are being generated by the system um, are actually looking 
a lot different as well. They show different from the other records that we have on the timeline, which allows us to quickly kind of differentiate those auto posts from other records on the timeline. And then I also noticed that below the activities on the timeline, there is now a link, right? You can see that over here. And it's actually showing you the regarding record of that activity. So this phone call was regarding faith. Now, most of this was regarding faith. So that's why you're only seeing faith. But that's really what that is. It's really showing you what that uh, activity is regarding. You'll also notice that I can actually expand this a little bit more. I don't think there is any more data in here. Yeah, there's not. And then I can do the same thing with this regarding record, right? I can collapse that or expand that. And then I can also open the record or just click on the record and open it that way. So I kind of like this because this really keeps this a lot less cluttered, right? Another thing that you're going to be able to do is to actually display only one current email message in the timeline with the option to expand the full thread. So I don't have any emails in here, I think, with her, so I can't really show you that. Or maybe I can. Oh, there's not really a thread here, but I can click on this and kind of expand that, uh, like I was saying. Now, another great addition is actually the ability to add, if you create a post here, to add attachments. So we couldn't do this before, right? So you can see that I did that here. I actually have two different posts. One actually where I'm asking Teresa, hey, can you please send this quote out to these guys? Um, but that's kind of how you do that, right? So I can, I can tag somebody. Uh, I can say, hey, uh, Chris, please do this. And then I can just go ahead and put my attachment in. And you can see this is how that saves. Now, when you see these posts with these attachments, what you can do is you can actually click on them at least as long as it's actually uh, supported for that particular document document type, I should say, you can click on that. And then as you can see, it's allowing me to review the documents or preview the document, I should say. And then I can download it directly from here. So we can see that PDFs are actually supported. However, if I'm trying to do this with a Word document, you can see there is no preview uh, available, but I do have the ability to download the document from here. And the same thing for uh, Excel records as well, right? There's no preview, it's not supported, but I do have the ability to download um, that document. Now, another thing that I wanted to uh, tell you guys is that with this release wave, there's a lot of settings that previously needed to be enabled by an, an admin. They're actually going to be enabled by default with this release wave. So, a good example of this is the modern advanced find functionality because um, you can see that I no longer have that icon on the top there, right, to pull up my advanced find window. So definitely um, make sure that you realize that because some organizations might not be ready for it. Then the question arises, can you turn the modern advanced find off? So even though the modern advanced find when GA on April 1st of this year of 2022 today you can still turn it off and you can use the legacy advanced find now keep in mind that this is something that most likely will go away right in the near future so I would definitely recommend starting to prepare your users on utilizing that modern advanced find functionality for organizations who use Dynamics 365 field service, it's important to know that the new schedule board will now be the default schedule board for all deployments. And this is probably a good thing because the legacy schedule board will be deprecated on April 1st of 2023. So definitely some important information uh, about that. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks again for watching, and until next time.